Welcome to the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. I'm Bishop Greg Davis, and I'm going to be your host for the next three days. We are live in Nashville, Tennessee. Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship is led by Bishop Joseph Warren Walker III, our presiding bishop, and of course our founder is Bishop Paul Sylvester Morton. And I'm Bishop Greg Davis. Of course, you know me from the Word Network, but this actually is home for me. For 26 years, I've been a part of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. There will be a number on the screen that they'll put on the screen. You can call for prayer throughout the night. You can call for prayer throughout the night. If you need prayer word network, you know how we do it. Dial the number on the screen. Tonight is going to be a wonderful night. We got great preaching going on tonight. Bishop Liston Page is bringing the word of God tonight. You're going to hear from the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship Choir. They have a brand new CD. We're going to have guests tonight. The house is full. We are ready. God is going to move in a mighty way. The number on the screen, you can call for prayer. Our intercessors are waiting in the prayer room to pray for you and believe God for you on tonight. I am believing God that signs and wonders and miracles are going to take place in your life. God is going to do the incredible in your life through this worship experience tonight. It's our 26th annual conference, and we are in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry. They call it Music City. They call it Music City. But you know what? The gospel of Jesus Christ is being sung tonight. I don't know. I heard a story uh, the other day that is because of the Tuskegee Choir that the Queen called that they said they were from Music City. The Queen said they're from Music City. That's why it's called Music City. Well, this week is being called Music City because the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship is here. And so you can call the number on the screen. We believe in God today that God is going to do an amazing work in your life through the full gospel baptist church fellowship dial the number on the screen we believe in god for healing we believe in god for miracles bishop liston page is bringing the word of god tonight we got guests coming tonight that's going to talk with us and i want you to meet some of our great guests that's going to join us this week um we're going on tonight tomorrow night and thursday daytime we're going to hear from Tomorrow night, Janet Floyd, and then on Thursday, 4th of July, from 12 uh, until 2 p.m., we are going to hear from Bishop Joseph Warren Walker, our presiding bishop. <coughs> Dial the number on the screen. We believe in God for your healing tonight. Joining me now, I call her mother. We call her mother affectionately here. She is a bishop in the Lord Church. I believe one of our first bishops that was consecrated. She was in the first uh, couple of bishops that was consecrated. I'm going to let her tell a story. She's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, believers in Christ. I don't need to look at anything to introduce her. She's over our educational division of our ministry in full gospel. Every morning, people come from all over the world to learn. Most people think we just shot and dance. But a lot of people just come to get empowered and equipped from the men and women of God. I want to introduce you now, Bishop Cheryl McBride Brown. Did I get it right? Love you, Mother. I love you as well. I'm excited about what's going on. I'm excited about how God is using you in such a mighty way. Mighty way. Tell me, how did you get involved in Full Gospel? How long have you been a part? I've been a part since 1994. There was a conference and they needed a teacher and a pastor in my state invited me to come and teach at a regional meeting. I've been involved ever since. So what has kept you down through the years? You have a great church. She has a great school. I mean, there's a waiting list every year. She's not just a bishop and pastor, but she's also an educator. She's a principal, her own school, president and principal of her own school. And, um, she keeps coming. Why? Why have you? It's family now. Well, Bishop Morton embraced all of us, whether we were Baptists or not in the beginning, remember? And so all of us who were non-denominational, interdenominational, found a place to voices. fit where the Spirit of God was flowing. And the vision is still the same, to change a generation. I believe you've changed generations by creating culture through education. 
and so i've stayed actively involved the worship is powerful and the relationships are purely part of kingdom heaven yeah it's just like a big old family reunion so now you are the bishop of education and what does that consist of hey wait a minute mind you a woman over education all day <laughs> well right now it covers the leadership institute every year it covers credentialing and certifying teachers to cover throughout the nation teach throughout the country it also covers and propel we train those in the pew but praise we also Lord, sharpen everybody. and develop the five fold so Lord, that our leadership is strong our fellowship is intelligent Hallelujah. and well educated but also Bishop, full of the spirit so and operating in awareness of the bible way most people don't know they know as far of course the music through bishop morton the full gospel rep church program. and we're going to hear more about that about the new cd they know about us through good preaching they know about us through you know we have tasha tasha page i mean tasha leonard uh we have rashawn mitchell we have william murphy we have an awesome prayer ministry but they don't know that people get up every morning during the conference to be educated Every morning, we have approximately 2,000 individuals going to classes. Classes begin at 8.30, and they cover a wide variety. School of the Prophet, certification for teachers, strategies for culture building, kingdom, ministry beyond all to the church, as well as music ministry, music for the children and the teens. There's a gamut of opportunities. We're covering security here as well as, yes, security relevance as well so as a biblical base. So it's a biblically sound program that Sarah advances the kingdom right but George. prepares us to be and royal priesthood in a holy nation, walking in authority and health and wealth. Name uh, some of the, the um, some of the classes that you have. You mentioned security, but we also have you know, media, because I sit in a lot of the classes, something for the pastors. We have a pastor's division where there are great speakers teaching them to hone their skills, develop their churches for all size churches, for memberships of 50 all the way up to 20,000. We prepare all types of pastors. We also have training of the church elders, pastoral care is the focus, training of altars, workers, and ministers, and leaders. We're teaching brokenness, how to survive when you're hurt and can't find a way to forgive. Dealing with that aspect, how to move forward when you're broken and hurting. That's every morning this week, and people are welcome. Oh, you don't to act help. like they own the way to your house. So, if there are pastors out oh, there, whether they are major churches or a few, they can send their people. Because, see, I think a lot of times we come and get empowered and equipped and don't bring anybody, and then we come back excited. We own 10, and the church is still over three. Talk to us about the importance about sending and bringing their people. I grew up in the Baptist church. Everybody would go. The need now is to start bringing our children, our seniors, all our members. There are classes for everyone, and the goal is to equip every member in the pew. The better, the stronger the fellowship, the stronger the leadership. When you have a strong undergirding, it's easier for a leader to fulfill his vision, her vision, and carry it out. So we're teaching all the levels so that we have a mature church, mature leadership, mature membership. And we have partnership. Um, we were sitting in the meeting the other day, and we can't really go into the details, but with Logos, Logos. Like we're advancing into partnerships, not sponsorships. We're not looking for money. We're looking for integration. Perfection, advancement, and that's what we'll be doing with Faith Life and opening many doors for many leaders that are watching and attending to be part of a broader market. So, I always talk about the takeaway. When somebody comes, there should be takeaways. Being a part of Full Gospel, what's some of the takeaways that people can come and say, I'm actually leaving with something? They leave with strategies. They leave with toolboxes in many of the classes. We leave with follow-up up work. We have individual connectivity. We're developing programs throughout the states for the teaching and credentialing. They also actually get the full music if they're in the worship. 
workshop. They learn the songs. They'll be getting every song that's on that CD, learning those songs and taught how to go back and teach. We're teaching people how to teach. So they're coming for strategies. They're coming for skill development, and they're advancing themselves and their church. We want you to call right now if you want more information, even how to be a part, 615-458-0860, 615-458-0860. You need prayer right now. You can call also. You want to be a part of the Christian Education Department, you call. Before you go, you are a consecrated woman bishop. There are people that are looking right now. How long have you been a bishop in the fellowship? Since 2003. Were you were the first? I was the, I was, I was the first woman consecrated as a bishop. What was that? What did that feel like? That felt like, OMG, God really is up to something significant, and he's using me and this fellowship. And now there are women throughout the country who are being elevated to positions of leadership. Talk to some of the women that are watching right now. Give them a word of encouragement. They don't have something that they're a part of. Talk to them about being a part of something bigger than them, and they accept it. I want all of you ladies to know there is a place for you in the kingdom of God. There's a place for you here at Full Gospel. We are developing women. We are meeting the needs of women. And we're elevating women to higher offices. The Lord is calling for you. We have a place for you. We have mentors for you. We have support for you. You are welcome here. You will find your fit at the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. Be encouraged. Be strong. Be a lady. Be elegant. And walk in your anointing. You are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If there's somebody that wants to be a part of a full gospel Baptist church fellowship, they can come tell them. Tell them. You can contact my office at 414-444-1146. My staff will reach me, and I will connect with you and bring you into the fold of the full gospel Baptist church fellowship international. Word Network family, you're watching the full gospel Baptist church fellowship. We are in our conference right now. Uh, Pastor Brown is up from Memphis. That's the other thing. We get, we have something called the voice of the fellowship, which are people that are homegrown on the inside. Nobody may have never heard of, but it's a platform. And so he has about eight to 10 minutes and he's speaking to opportunity. Opportunity to be heard. Opportunity that many would never receive in a state convention, former reformation, but here, there's a fit, a place for everyone's gift and talent to be cultivated and displayed and for others to receive the benefit. Bishop Cheryl Brown, you are Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If you're in Milwaukee, you're looking for a church, believe us in Christ. And let me tell y'all, she flows. Great worship, great prophetic, great word. Bishop Cheryl Brown, our Bishop of Education. Thank you. I love you, mother. All right, you're watching the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International 26th Annual Conference. The house is full. We're going to take you into the service in just a little while. But call the number on the screen for prayer. Well, we got another guest. My nephew is here. Y'all know him. I got a famous nephew, y'all. What they call his nephew? <laughs> so you all don't know it, but not only is he uh, a praise and worship leader, not only is he a gospel artist, but he's also a record executive. Did I call it right? He's a record executive. And of course, you know, Elder Bashan Mitchell. Welcome to the Word Network family. Be here, Bishop. Always there good to be with you and the Word Network. To kill you and Listen, I, I want to go back. You started in this fellowship you. how many years ago? Over 20 years ago, I started writing this fellowship with Bishop Larry Trotter, Holy Spirit, and, spirit, and just been a part ever since. And we didn't even know you then as who you are today. Not at I was just a little young little boy hanging out around the choir and the musicians, and that's it. And just, you know, was allowed to grow in this fellowship and become who I am today was a lot of part of this fellowship. Talk to, uh, before we get to what we talk about, talk to somebody that's watching right now. Musicians, maybe, they're watching right now. Psalmists, praise and worship leaders, they're just singing in their church, like you was doing. 
on 103rd and, and what is it? 103rd. <laughs> 103rd. <laughs> See? Um, talk to them about the importance of being connected. Yeah, you know what? A lot of times we want our turn to happen really fast. I tell everyone, if you serve until, your until it's your turn, you're allowed the connections to help you be connected, you know, to grow where you need to grow, to cover you when you need to be covered, so that when you get to a place to where you can't handle no more, you have that covering that's with you. And connected to full gospel has allowed me to have so many coverings from my pastor, to my bishop, to my uncle, to so many others. And Bishop Paul S. Morton being such a lover of music and being such a, a mogul in preaching music and everything else, he covered us as well. So. Uh, not only able to get to where we are, but coverings help us to stay where we are. We have others here. Bishop William Murphy, that, that homegrown right in here. Tom Byron Cave. Byron Cave. J.J. Harrison is here. And so many others right and here. And here serving. We're serving here. We serve. You know, I'm working. You see the sweat? I'm working. Well, he's now a record executive. And his first uh, project as president of To Heal a Record. Congratulations again. Thank you, sir. What does that mean? You know what? It means I get to serve to fulfill the vision that Bishop Paul has more than set years ago. That's to provide a platform for musicians and singers, songwriters, to put out music that will burst the sound across the world, that helps full gospel continue to be that uh, leader of, of praise and worship, choir and music, just everything that we provide here can get to the world through this label. So we have a brand new project. Brand new project. It's entitled A Month of Sundays. What does that mean? I sat in the room today and I'm like, a month of Sunday. Good. It means that there's music on here for every Sunday. From praise and worship, altar call, choir music, just music for the mood is right on this project for your church, your ministry, and your life. I've already texted my praise and worship leaders. I said I want you to learn this, 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 this for this Sunday. So that means this city right here can give a music department a whole month's worth of music. And it's something for everybody. Every month. A month, something for everyone. Even if your church is still kind of, don't have a lot of musicians, there's music on here for you as well. And also, just let you know, the tracks are available online as well. You can get the tracks to help assist with your ministry. So where can it be? Where can we find it? All streaming, all digital outlets. And we're still selling CDs in Walmart as well. So They're still selling CDs? Yeah, they're still selling CDs. Still selling CDs? They haven't released the cassettes yet, but they're still selling. My money, it is coming back because I, I just got a record player for Christmas. <laughs> so tell us who's on Tell us who's on the CD. Listen, on this project, you have uh, Pastor William Murphy, uh, J.J. Harrison is on this project. Bishop Brian Pierce is on here. Bishop Paul S. Morton is on here. My bishop, Bishop Joseph Walker, he had to introduce a song, but he took him in just a little bit. But so many great artists on this project. But we're so glad to feature our own homegrown Chris House and all the rest of them, Eugene Brown, everyone right here for Full Gospel to your room. So uh, here's the question, and I don't know if I should do this. Are you going to be looking for other artists? You know what? We're looking for other artists. Don't give me answer. We're looking for other artists in a different way. We're looking for singers, songwriters, and producers. We're a music group, so we're able to make connections to others. So whatever we don't put out, we can help put out. With the industry changing so much, we can help be the platform to help artists deal with the change. And that's what it's about. So we're cha changing a little bit because it's not good to kind of put out an artist right now, but to help artists put their self out is better. So if they need to contact you, somebody's watching right now, how would they contact you as, as Rashawn Mitchell, the record exec. Yes. Contact me at Mount Zion, go to mountzion.org, and my phone number is there. My assistant will get back to you, administrator will get back to you, but it's mountzion.org, or just look up the number for Mount Zion Baptist Church Nashville, and you can find me. So what's going on with you? Everything's going on with me. Got a new project coming out as well. August the 9th is entitled Elements, and I've been in this for 20 years, celebrating 20 years anniversary. So I wrote songs and recorded songs that helped me deal with my journey about elements, how the fire of God came, the wind of God, the water of God, the, the, the oil of God, all around this project. And, and there's some real life elements that we deal with. It's a part of this project, so you don't want to miss it. And wind of God is already kind of just blazing in the world because people are ready for the wind to blow in that direction. Now, what baffles me is that you got all this going on for yourself. But every year, this time of the year, just like me, you find yourself here. This is home. So every year you carve out time to go home. And that's what it's all about. And I hear, I serve here, like I'm not on stage, I'm serving behind the scenes, selling records, because I believe in the vision of the full gospel. I believe in what started me being who I am to the world. So I want to give back. Amazing. Listen, we want you to go get the project, download it, or go to Walmart. It's called a, a month and Sunday. Go get it. You can also call the number on the screen, and they can tell you how to go and get it. Is it on the website? It's on the website as well, fullgospel.org, and you can... Uh,
any any platform you want, even if you Spotify, Pandora, just click on the rock project, listen to it, allow the blessing. Love you, sir. Vashon Mitchell, make sure you go down. Yeah, yeah. Now, wait a minute, before you go. I thought he was retired. Well, he can retire to everybody else, but he's still our dad. So he goes on every record. We love him. It says Bishop Paul Martin. He's singing on it? He's singing on it as well. Well, so retirement means he's not doing his own records no more. But he's going to be featured on ours until he say he don't want to. All right. Let's try to mention y'all our own record executive now. Love you, sir. You're watching the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. And uh, we got church going on back here. We going in there later on, y'all. Bishop Liston Page is going to be preaching. Dial the number on the screen right now. Coming next, Bishop Edward Stevens. Bishop, love you, sir. This is Bishop Edward Stevens. He's been a part of Full Gospel as long as I've been here. Yeah, absolutely, 26 years. He pastors a great church in Memphis, Tennessee. He's one of our regional bishops. Bishop, tell us about your journey starting in Full Gospel, Golden Gate, your wonderful church in Memphis. Talk to us about why did you become a part of Full Gospel and why are you still here? Man, this was what the Lord ordered for my ministry. Growing up being a part of a generation of Baptist pastors. But then I was also, I grew up around Pentecostalism and hearing about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and experiencing the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I knew this was the fit for what God was doing in my life in this season. It was absolutely over. At the first conference when our presiding bishop began to cast vision and told us what it was all about and what he was planning to do, it was a good fit for Golden Gate and myself. We started off with Bishop Morton, and now we're serving the vision of Bishop Joseph Warren Walker. And we're not doing nothing but going higher. You preach today, and you preach, and you preach. Talk about today what you talked about. Today was getting them to see about in ministry so very often you can get caught up and you can find yourself in a, a dark place. You can find yourself in a cave place. But what God will do, even in your cave place, if you hear the voice of God, God will bring you out. But sometimes you got to make the first move because he, the Bible says, and God told him to come out to the edge of the cave and he would speak to him. And it's really about the mindset that if we're not careful, ministry will cause us to be in a dead place. But God doesn't want us to be there. So the essence of the message, and at a conference like this, you got a lot of pastors who go through. And I said that one of the things and the challenges, you have people problems. Not only do you have people problems, but you have perspective problems. You have all of these problems going on in your life. But what God will do for you, he will flip the script and work on our behalf. Oh my God, I'm telling you, he will turn some things around. You find yourself in a place and you're saying, how did I get in this dark place? Oh my God, what he will do for you when you hearken unto this for his voice. And I come to tell somebody who's listening right now, it's not Everything. over for you Everything right here. now. Full the power of God, if you're watching this telecast, it's because you're on the mind of God. He loves you, and it's time. Bishop, I want you to encourage some pastors tonight that are watching because there's so many that feel like they're out there. Some are in rural, rural areas. Some of them are in the suburbs, but it's not working. What do you say to a pastor? Because you've been a pastor how many years? Uh, 36. I think you can talk to him. Yeah, yeah, I believe I can. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to say to you, even if you're in a rural place, you've got to know that where you are, you are on assignment. That's the key word. You are on assignment. And don't allow the enemy to distract your mind and you begin to listen to a lot of naysayers because there's many, everybody ain't cut out for the rural area. Everybody's not cut out 
for the city area, but whatever assignment is on your life, if you will honor God for where you are, I promise you, he'll begin to open up doors, and if nothing else, he will give you peace about where you are. Bishop, you're one of the regional bishops. What area? Central region. What does that mean if pastors want to connect? How is our country divided, and how can they get in touch with somebody in that area to connect? Yeah, well, actually, we have eight regional bishops. I cover the central area. Kansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Iowa, Iowa, Missouri, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota are the states that I cover. And I'm telling you, you need to connect with us. You're needing that place to find family. That's the key word, not just an organization, a family unit, and that's exactly what we are. And you can call our headquarters of Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship and we'll help you to connect with a church in your area. There is one close by you, and we want to be that blessing for you in your life. So, so they can go to the website. Um, what states do you cover? Kansas, Kentucky, Tennessee. Are uh, you talking up real yeah. fast now? Yeah, 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 because it's a bunch of them, yeah. No, no, I'm just saying, in case, if, if you, what area? Oh, that's it. Kansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Iowa, Missouri, Minnesota, and Kentucky. That's it. That's a lot. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. If, you in, if you in those areas, this is the man to contact. If you're in those areas, you can call 1-800-743-8664. And that's 1-800-743-8664. Matter of fact, no matter where you are, Call that number, and I will help connect you with one of the regional bishops in your area and help you get connected uh, in a church in that area. What is the secret of longevity? 36 years, 33 years for me. This year I'll be consecrated. You was at my consecration. 25 years in November. Amen. The key is service. Service. And, and staying connected to your covering. When you stay connected to your covenant, I'm telling you, no matter what it looks like to shake out, you're going to be all right. And that's been that's been my blessing, not bouncing around uh, from, from the National Baptist and then to the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. God has just been a blessing, been a blessing in my life, staying connected to Bishop Paul Sylvester Morton and now to Bishop Joseph Walker. You got to be connected to what God's doing in somebody else's life. So they're looking for a church in Memphis. Where can they go? Hey, 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 now, Golden Gate Cathedral. You sparked up a little bit there. GoldenGateCathedral.org. You can go to our website, and I'm telling you, we'll be glad to talk to you and share with you and help minister to you. We're on television six times a week there in that whole area. So that God wants to do something special for you in your life. It's amazing. Bishop, thank you so much. Bishop Edward Stevens, you all. And uh, they, they're getting ready to give in here. So we're going to give online also. Bishop, the importance of giving. Matter of fact, Word Network family, you know how we do it. There's a number on the screen. I want Master Control if they could put it up. There's a number on the screen. I want to challenge you tonight, everybody that's watching, just with a $50 Jubilee seat, a seat of release. I want to believe God that God is going to release some things in your life. I want you to go to the number on the screen. I want you to just tell the operator, say, Bishop Davis said, I saw Bishop Stephen Bishop Davis, and he said, I need to release, I need to release tonight in my life. Pastors, let me tell you something. You can give, well, some pastors don't give to their local churches, but you should. But you can give locally, but there's nothing like giving to a national vision. It means you're sowing up to something greater. When your people see that, it gives freedom even in your own house. $50 seat. I, I, want, I want those of you that you watch me on here all the time. You, you, you've watched me for 13 years on Christian television. I don't play. Tonight. I want you to go to the phone, the number on the screen. I want them to begin to ring, and I want you to sow a seed of $50 tonight. Hey, before we even go in the auditorium, you've already been blessed from these men and women of God. Musicians, you've been blessed from Rashad. You've been, women, you've been blessed from Shoba. Pastor, 36-year anointing on his life. This man preached today. I want you to give today. Bishop, before you go, the importance of pastors honoring God with their seed. Oh, absolutely. You're talking about moving to the next level financially and economically in your life. It is going to be critical because I'm telling you, once you begin to do it, you're going to begin to see your members shift gears as well. So what you do, if you're selfish, if you're stingy, if you're holding on, they're going to hold on. If there's a spirit of freedom released with your finances, you're going to see the power of God shift in your life. Things are going to change for you for the better. Finally, a good place to sow seed, plant seed, and connect. 
And I'm talking about you're going to have exponential growth. I believe the power of God and financial increase on your life when you are walking obedience with finances. Bishop, I'm going to call you next week because you're ready for TV. <laughs> you're on the word. <laughs> Love you, Bishop. Thank you. You're watching the Word Network. I'm Bishop Greg Davis, and I'll be hosting the next three days, well, two more days here on the Word Network at the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship Conference. There's a number on the screen that you can call right now. You can also, if they put that up, you can text to give right now. That seed of $50. Our next guest, uh, he is my friend, and he is my brother, uh, Bishop Bishop Calvin Lockett. This, this, this young man, he encourages me. You can put it back up. Put it back up. He encourages me every time you see. Just thanks me for, I don't know what he be saying. He be thanks for everything. But he pastors in a little small city, and, and I want him to speak to that. Because some people, you're waiting to go to a big city, and God wants to bless you where you are. Bishop Calvin Lockett. Yes, sir. Miracle signs and wonders happen in that. Miracle signs and wonders. What is the name of the church? Christ the Healer Church in Clarksville, Tennessee. It's, a, it's not a small city, but it's not a large city. Uh, it is a growing city. Uh, but it is, uh, there's a move of God that's going on, definitely. I want you all to give right now, 615-458-0860. You can text uh, FGBCF to 732, you got your finger by it, <laughs> 73256 <laughs> right now, Elder Ty. Bishop, you're the Bishop of? Fellowship Relations. And what does that mean in, in full gospel? Yes, sir. Well, I am the bishop that really touches uh, the areas that uh, my presider uh, deems necessary. Relational um, bishop, just bishop that, that touches various areas embraces new pastors that come in, reaches out whenever there's a death in the fellowship, um, just encourages people during times of need, um, just that type of ministry to the leadership uh, of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. Okay, now, when you say that, that tells me that our presiding bishop, Bishop Joseph Walker, has a, a heart to make sure that people are being touched. He can't touch everybody. Absolutely. You make sure, I'm on the conference calls, and you make sure that you tell us if there's a death, if somebody's sick, or whatever the case may be. How important is it for, you really pastoral care. Yes, sir. That's really what, it, what it's called in the local church. How important is that even in our local church? Absolutely. People really don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And it's so very important that people are ministered to, that people are touched. Paul said, seeing that we have this ministry, seeing that we have this ministry, which means that leadership can't do everything in and of themselves. They need others that have the spirit of the leader to be able to communicate that uh, to the rest of the body in bringing the corporate body together on one accord. So, Bishop, you've been in full gospel how long? I've been in full gospel for 21 years. And you started off as? I started off as a pastor. I went to, true story, I went to... Uh, the Golden Gate Cathedral in March 1999. Bishop Stevens, who just left here. Absolutely, to his church. Uh, at that time, Bishop Jerome Ross was the Bishop of Pastors. Bishop Larry Trotter was the third presiding bishop. I took a $250 seed. At that time, it was a whole bunch of money for me. And um, I sowed a seed. I said, I want to give this and put this in Bishop Morton's hand. Bishop Morton laid his hands on me, spoke into my life, my life and my ministry has never, ever, ever been the same. Nothing like the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. There's an anointing that's on this movement for pastors and for leaders and for people. The spirit that's on this fellowship is a spirit that everybody ought be under, the covering of this fellowship. Everybody ought to be a part of it. I think it's amazing, nothing like it. That's why you stay here. <laughs> so listen, when we talk about that, you're now, we have 21 that are the government of our movement. They're called the Bishop's Council. It's our presiding bishop and 20 others. Yes, you were just elevated yes, to be a part. You, that's why you had his shirt on, yes, this sir. color right here. This yes. color means that there are 21 that wear this color that lead this organization. 21 years ago, you sort of seated 250. Yes, sir. And now you are one of the 21 leaders of this fellowship. The seat left my hand, and that's why it's so important. It never, was. never left my life. That's why it's so important for you. Uh, I know a lot of you, there may be those who, who think that there's something mystic or something superstitious about sowing and about giving. My life is an example that when you sow a seed, that seed has to come up. 
that seed has to manifest. And so uh, for those of you who, uh, who are watching this, you, those of you who are watching this, get that seed. Get a seed in your hand. Sow a seed. That seed may leave your hand, but I promise you that seed will never leave your life. It was a thousand dollar seed that I believe I sold in the 90s. I didn't even have it. I took four credit cards and put $250 together before full gospel started. I gave to a TV camera that Rod Parsley needed. I was Reverend Greg Davis. And I believe today, the reason why I'm on Christian television every day of the week, literally seven days a week, is because of that seed I sold, a thousand dollar seed. Pastor, you gotta learn how to have creative finances. So into this fellowship tonight. The same anointing that's in this house right now, because the anointing has no, no barriers. It's in your house right now. So that's it. Go to the phone. Go to, if the line is busy, keep calling. Or you can text to give. Or you can go. If you, let me tell you, if you have Givelify, look up the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. And so, so that's it. This man has a healing anointing on his life also. You have healing services regularly. And your, your son is coming next in ministry. And he's over the young dust. See, there's a generational, transitional. I heard Bishop Murphy said this last night. Yeah. There's a generational transitional anointing yes, sir. that's taking place in the earth. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. this is even order right here. Yes, sir. You're here, and then your son is coming. Yeah, and 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 it's and it's order with you, and your father, Bishop Morton. Yes, sir. Yes, thanks for. I, I, I was I was just thinking here, literally, you're doing for us what Bishop Morton did for you and many others. Absolutely. That same spirit is on him, giving opportunities to gifts that are undiscovered. And um, the, the anointing, that miracle work and anointing. Bishop, this is a season where God not told me, he said, the church was started with a prayer meeting. The church will end and go out with a prayer meeting. And miracle signs and wonders will take place when people, when people tap into prayer. In prayer meetings, God, God sent people to see. In prayer meetings. I'm talking about in a bona fide prayer meeting. The gifts of the spirit are operating. People's bodies are being healed. We prayed for 24 hours this past Friday. We prayed in the church from 12 to 6 a.m. The power of God moved. People's bodies were healed. People were delivered and set free. Six hours seemed as if it were six minutes. Because when you get into glory, eternity comes and time doesn't matter. Wow. I know you were blessed. So that seed now, the same seeds that we sowed, if you release it now, God will do it. Go to the number on the screen. Go to Give Lify. Text to give right now. Men and women of God, people of God, do it now and watch God do it. What's the church at, Rickley? It's Christ the Hiller Church, 1295 Paradise Hill Road, Clarksville, Tennessee. All right. Thank you so much, Bishop you, Calvin Lockett. Thank you, sir. I know the family's watching. Hey, y'all, Christ the Hiller. <laughs> Bless you, Bishop. Dial the number on the screen right now. In just maybe seven, eight minutes, we're going into, we're going into the service. Bishop Liston Page. It's going to bring the word tonight. And at the end, I'm going to come back uh, and, and just say good night to you. You're watching the Word Network. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. We're at the Gaylord Hotel, the largest hotel in the country. We know it because we tired walking it. <laughs> well, this young man here, I love him. You've seen him on Let the Healing Begin. You've seen him on Greg Davis Live. He is anointed. God is using him. He just came from... 12-hour prayer with Bishop John, with Pastor John, Hannah, and others. Um, he hit social media so hard. A little piece he did in Chicago, Illinois, and it just lit me on fire because, I, you know, I sing the tongue, do everything, do all that. And I'm just so proud of him. Today, we, uh, you saw him on Young Preachers, too. But today, we take the Young Preachers here, um, right in this room that's going to air on the Word Network. Young Preachers, full gospel style. And he asked me to do that, and I love him so much. Overseer, Shaman Scale. Thank you, first of all, for this opportunity. I'm so excited. We are in Nashville. This is the first time I've been full gospel all my life, and this is the first time it's been in my home state. So I'm so excited about what God is doing. And not only that, right now is the main service tonight, Bishop Lisa Page, but you are the overseer of the young adults. Yes, sir. And you're going to be doing what? Late night service, right after the service. I'll be preaching late night. The young on adults. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we'll tell y'all at the end how we believe if you can switch over and stream the late night service <coughs> and watch Overseer Scale. And he has a cadre of young preachers and prophets that's going to go forth. 
Let me tell you something. I know he ain't wearing this. He probably got that white robe somewhere in the back. <laughs> he got that, <laughs> that white robe is ready for him. That was your father in ministry, <coughs> Bishop Lockett. It was divine that I didn't, I didn't even, when I did the thing, I wasn't even thinking that you would come after him. And he mentioned and talked about you. You know, that's how I believe it happens. The father announces Absolutely. the son. Absolutely. Actually, I have a story even about sowing. Bishop Lockett, um, I grew up in his church, got filled with the Holy Ghost in his church from day one. I'm a founding member of his church. It was, I was in the sixth grade. I was about 12 years old. I remember you back then. And it was his anniversary, and we were sowing into him. And Bishop Davis, I don't know where I found $200, but I found $200 in the sixth grade. I sold it into him, and that next week um, was our regional summit. For some reason, the hot song at the time, Praise What I Do, was hot. And somebody didn't show up that night, and Billy Rivers, Minister Billy Rivers, let me sing the song that night. And he let me sing the song that night. While I'm singing the song, Bishop Paul Morton walks in the door and says, I'm going to fly him and his mother up to, um, to um, New Orleans and Superdome, and I'm going to let him sing. That night literally changed my life. I'm still living. 45,000 people. I'm still living right now off that $200 I sold into Bishop Lockett, and I'm preaching tonight based off me sowing that $200 in the sixth grade. Encourage somebody. As the spirit of giving is in the house right now, encourage somebody to go to that number on the screen our intercessors are taking uh the seeds but tell them the importance you didn't even know we had this got to go tell them the importance even young preachers that are watching young adults listen i am afforded the opportunity to preach all over the country i'm preaching tonight here not because i'm the most gifted preacher the most talented i literally sold my way into his Listen, this is good ground to sow into. And as a young preacher, the Lord has blessed me and the Lord has done some great things in my life. But it's because I have sowed seeds. Listen, if I was you, I'm a living witness. I am a living witness that when you sow seeds in good ground in the right season, you'll reap the bend. I sowed one seed in the sixth grade that I'm still living off of at 30 years old. God has done some tremendous things in my life, and I encourage you. I'm a living witness. Sow that seed tonight and watch what God does for you. $50 if you can. Many of you can do 200 Many of you can do 1000 whatever. You're sowing into the fellowship for international. And as you sow in international, God's going to be a few. Young adults, first year over, what's playing? We are, we are engaging into this mentorship program. I am here because I was able to follow people like you, your miracle ministry, even now when it comes to media, follow uh, Bishop Walker as far as leadership, Bishop Murphy as far as prayer. We need mentorship. So we're developing a mentorship program to where if you are a part of the fellowship, you'll be able to get direct mentorship from the mothers and the fathers of this and creating community. It's important in this season that you are connected to some like-minded people, some people that are going where you're going, and just to bounce ideas off and just a, a connection. My best friends are in this fellowship that we literally love each other and our family. Um, so um, those two things were strengthening community, but also that mentorship piece is what we're going to hit this year. And if you're looking for some people to mentor you, looking for some people to come um, and pour into you, if you're a young adult, you need to be a part of the gospel because we are making it happen. And you have done what you've seen us done do. You went and even grabbed one of my young, young, young preachers, and put him on fly, and, and he, he's a celebrity because he put him on fly. <laughs> but you, you saw us do that. You saw us give up. Somebody hit me today, and they said, Bishop, I need your cash app. I want to sow a thousand dollars because you were the. I'm not going to name a person. But I am Jonathan Ferguson. He said because you put me on TV first before anybody else, and now, and and that just that just blesses me because I do it and don't even think about it. And so I commend you for doing what you've seen your father do, what you've seen all of us do, because we all got it from Bishop Morton. We honor Bishop Walker, but we all, we all got this thing of giving people opportunity. This fellowship, if it wasn't for this fellowship, I wouldn't be on TV. There was a man by the name of Bishop George Brooks. Remember him? Yes, I do. Ryan's, he, Ryan's uncle. Yeah, he knew somebody that was... He was actually on the board of another network. 
and he got me on TV. Wow. Celebrate Live. I was on another network. And then Mr. Adele was watching me do that and got me on Word Network. It's because of full gospel. Full gospel. I'm look We're my, dream connectors. Literally, I am going, I feed my family because Bishop Morton said you. When I was 21 years old, Bishop Walker placed me in a church in Jackson. I'm pastoring. Everything has been because of full gospel. So it was just easy for me to say, okay, there's some people coming up, even behind me. Let me reach them. They got some gifts and callings. Let's do something for them. It's about giving opportunities. And one of the things that you'll learn about this fellowship is this is a fellowship of opportunity. And there are some people out there that are looking for opportunities. This is the place to come where some people will bless you, help you, assist you in the way you need to go. Take one minute right now. Those of you that are in need of healing, miracles, he has that kind of ministry on. Take one minute, and I want you all to extend your hands this way because we're getting ready to go into the service in two minutes. Bishop, listen, Paige is preaching. It's going to be amazing. You're going to hear from our presiding bishop. Pray for him right quick. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray right now for every sick body, for anybody that needs deliverance. We thank you now that healing is the children's bread. By your stripes we are healed. So we release the anointing. We thank you that there is no time and distance in the spirit. But we release the healing virtue of God in Jesus' name. If you're in the hospital room, if you're on your sick bed, if you're in the nursing home, we command you to take up your bed and walk in Jesus' name. And we say it is so. So it is in Jesus' name. We're going to tell you at the end of the service tonight how to switch over and you can stream and hear this young man. You want to be a part of the young adult ministry? Millennials, you can get in touch with him. Where? You can come on our Facebook page. You can it's Pastor Shaman Scales or Shaman Scales Singer on Instagram or F Y A D um, on Instagram. DM us. We are looking forward to working with you throughout the year. And just say hi if you just don't want you know be a part. But I promise you, you're gonna want to be a part of what God is doing in this season. Major things are happening right here in Full Gospel Message. Thank you, Overseer Shaman Scales. I love you. In just one minute, we're getting ready to go into the service. I want you to get your faith ready. I want you to get in expectancy. Bishop Listen Page is going to be preaching. You're going to hear from the music ministry. It is going to be amazing. The house is full. Full gospel is alive. Dial the number on the screen if you're in need of prayer at any time. I'm Bishop Greg Davis. We're coming back at the end. We're going to say good night to you. You're watching the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship Conference. For over 27 years, I've been a part of this. I am so honored right now that we are live on the Word Network. It's amazing. Don't forget right now, go to the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship Conference.org and peruse that. You can download the app right now and follow what God is doing in the life of the believer. So many of you right now, you're looking for a word. You're looking for a way out. God is about to do it in your life. I'm believing for miracles, signs, and wonders on your life tonight. God is going to heal some of you right through this conference. God is going to set you free. Some pastors, you're going, to, you're going to say, you know what? I need to be a part of that move of God right now. Pastors, if you're in need of prayer right now, I want you to call the number on the screen and receive prayer tonight. Dial the number on the screen right now. We're getting ready to go into the service in just one minute. We ready? All right, we get ready to go. Yes, it is. I'm getting sign language. We get ready to go in just one minute. But I want you to call pastors especially. I don't know why I keep tugging, keep tugging. Pastors, you need to call right now because you in need of prayer right now. I believe in God for signs, wonders, and miracles in your life. Father, we thank you right now. We set our faith in agreement right now. You getting ready to do a new thing as we go into the service. God, do it right now for them. In Jesus' name. We believe in God for it right now. Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. We are live right now. We're going to be live again tomorrow night at 8.30. Janet Ford is going to be preaching also on, thir on Thursday. That's right, July 4th from 12 until 2. You can also, we're going live there. Begin to follow me. You can go right now and follow me at Bishop Greg Davis on Instagram, on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. And let me know that you've been watching. All my friends out there, all the preachers that are watching, I love you with the love of Jesus. God is doing amazing things. We're going in in just a few minutes. We're going, y'all. They're getting it ready for us. They're getting it ready for us. They're getting...
They're getting it ready for us. Dialing them on the screen. We're going. We're going. Bishop Pierce is singing right now one of the new songs from our CD. Calling them on the screen. It's amazing things that's happening. Listen, did you know? Did you know that you can't do this alone? Did you know that you need connection? Did you know that you need somebody that you can talk to? The Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. You're looking for covering. You're looking for somebody. We're going. We're go oh, we're going now. We're going in service, y'all. We'll see you. We out. from the Word Network. We are thanking God you are tuned in now live to the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship right here in Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee. On behalf of our founder, our bishop's council, all of our tiers of leadership, we have come from the east, we have come from the west, we have come from the north and the south. Full Gospel, will you help me welcome the Word Network on tonight. Would you give God glory for what he is going to do this week? We thank God for the millions of viewers watching around the world, and we thank God for Kevin Adele and the Word Network, this amazing partnership. You are tuned in to the Live Full Conference, and we are excited about what God is going to do. We have already been blessed, and make no mistake about it, you are in store for the most amazing week of your life. We believe, and we by the 4th of July, we believe God's going to turn some stuff around in your life. I need somebody in full gospel who believes that something's in the atmosphere. Tell somebody by the fourth, by the fourth, it's going to turn around for you. Listen, we have got to do something very special. One of the things I love about full gospel, we are family. And many people who understand this platform that God gave our visionary uh, Bishop Paul Sylvester more than some 26 years ago, many of the very prominent voices in gospel music, and ministry around the world got their beginning right here in full gospel we've got to do this tonight it's something very special that i want to share with you tonight i want to invite to this platform tonight monica coates ej Gaines, the co-executive directors of motown gospel i want this is the label for our very own tasha cobbs leonard i want them to come God bless you. It is such a pleasure to be in a house that understands that the presence of God, without it, we cannot do anything. We recognize that in our business, if we don't seek the face of God for every day, every step that we make in business, we cannot be successful. And that's why it's such a pleasure tonight to honor a woman whose ministry speaks so well of this house. Tasha Cobbs Leonard uh, is just a blessing to us. As a record label, you don't always have the opportunity to find artists whose passion for ministry equals their passion for music. And I can truly say, in Tasha's case, her passion for ministry and the will of God exceeds her passion for music. I know our time is short, 
So I want to give EJ an opportunity to talk about specifically what we're here to do tonight, but thank you so much, presiding bishop and founder, for allowing us to honor the woman of God. God bless you. <clears throat> um, if you can just say 834 million. I just was upstairs and I looked at you know, some data and we're always looking at data, right? Because that demonstrates impact. Um, and I think we all know that data is not the only story of impact, amen? Like in, in ministry, we're talking about souls too. But 834 million is the number of streams that Tasha Cobbs Leonard has had over the course of her career. Amen. That's, that's global. That's global ministry. And the thing I love about Tasha and, and, and partnering with Tasha through Motown Gospel is that we get to witness someone who sits at the feet of Jesus. You know, she talks about being at, at his feet and staying at his feet. You never really realize that you could impact 834 million streams at the feet of Jesus, right? We're, we're a doer nation. We think we have to get up and do. We have to go out and do and be. And Tasha does. She goes out and she, she does and she is and she works really, really hard. But 834 million times people have clicked to hear what God has given her for their souls, for their encouragement, for their journey. 834 million, almost 1 billion times. And um, that's a little girl, as she would call herself, from, from Jessup, Georgia. Um, I don't know that you ever thought that you would impact almost a billion people's clicking habits. And it comes out of this house, as Monica said. Um, so we have a small presentation with that as well. Something really cool happened that doesn't get to happen in the gospel and Christian music industry anymore. Um, Tasha's gone platinum. So we want to present this plaque for her hit single, Break Every Chain, presented to Tasha Cobbs Leonard to commemorate RIAA platinum certification. More than one million copies of the hit single, Break Every Chain. Ladies and gentlemen, Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Come on, let's thank God for this awesome gift among us. Come on, y'all, that's full gospel right there. Come on, that's what full gospel looks like right there. Platinum. You may be seated just for a moment. Listen, we want to now bring one of our incredible, incredible partners uh, to share with us before they come. I do want to encourage those of you watching by the Word Network and those of you in this place tonight to partner with full gospel. Full Gospel is doing amazing things every single day, every single week, and one of the ways you can partner with us is covenant partners, and we encourage you, $10 a month, that's all it takes, $10, $10 a month, $120 a year, I encourage you uh, to look on our website, go to fullgospelbaptist.org. If you're here tonight and you have an opportunity or you want to make certain tonight before this service is over, you have an opportunity to partner with us in covenant partners because we appreciate what it means to be in covenant. There's nothing like full gospel. I believe somebody ought to give God glory right there. Amen. I want you to receive Mr. Nathaniel Miles with this wonderful partnership of Eli Lilly has been amazing for our fellowship and we thank God for them. Come on, let's welcome them down. Thank you, Bishop. Once again, first giving honor to God, who is the head of my life, to this amazing presiding bishop and his wife, the overseer of wellness, Dr. Stephanie Walker, um, to the founding, exactly, to the founding father of this denomination, Bishop Morton, to the Bishop's Council, to the clergy and members of this magnificent organization. Most of you know Eli Lilly through our wellness and our faith-based initiative, which President Bishop Walker, which presiding Bishop Walker asked us to help put together to debate, to um, help get rid of one of the most devastating diseases ravaging the African-American community, which is diabetes. Well, working with Bishop Kerry Bryant and Overseer Walker, we are in the process of making a difference at Eli Lilly 
diabetes is personal for me as my mom was killed by this disease. Here to finish my presentation is Full Gospel's own Dr. Deborah McClendon. Hear you, her. What an awesome testimony from Nate. Good evening, Full Gospel Fellowship Baptist Church International. I am here to give you some information about diabetes and your health. But before we do that, let us give Eli Lilly and company a hand for their commitment and for accepting the assignment to allocate resources to educate and decrease the burden of type 2 diabetes in our community. Next. Diabetes can be a lifelong struggle with lifelong complications. Next. One in four people who have diabetes don't even know they have it. In the next hour, about 170 Americans will be diagnosed with diabetes. Approximately 84 million American adults have pre-diabetes. And of that number, about 90% don't even know that they have it. Pre-diabetes is a precursor for type 2 diabetes. African Americans are two times more likely to be diagnosed with diabetes and two times more likely to die from the complications thereof. 90 to 95 percent of us who have diabetes have type 2. Next. High blood pressure, overweight and obesity and diabetes are each at epidemic status. They each contribute to increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. When they exist together, they worsen each other's symptoms. Type 2 diabetes has an association with overweight and obesity. Overweight and obesity has an association with high blood pressure, and they all have an association with heart disease and stroke. Now, the good news is that the ways to manage all three of these overlap. Increase physical activity, making healthier food choices, and decreasing weight will work. If you don't have diabetes, there are things that you can do to not get it. If you do have diabetes, there are things you can do to manage it, reduce it, and in some cases, even reverse it. Here are some full gospel, here at Full Gospel, led by our first presiding bishop lady, Dr. Stephanie Walker. <laughs> we are committed to live full in our health and fitness. Living full includes accepting help from our friends, family, and our community, and by following steps that have been proven to work. The first step is protecting each other by using the resources our community provides. We have the Lilly Diabetes Solution Center. The number that can be called is 1-833-808-1234. Our second resource is Wellness for Your Soul. Next slide. It is a free support that is provided by Eli Lilly. Wellness for Your Soul was created to benefit those who want to reduce the chances of developing diabetes and for trying to manage it. Now get your phones out. Uh, next slide. Wellness for Your Soul is four personalized contact moments. The first one is an introductory co coaching call. The second, personalized email. Third, a final coaching call. And then a fourth, uh, personalized email. To enroll, text F-A-I-T-H, faith, to hashtag 85099. Then reply to the message with your first and last name. And you can also visit www.wellness for your soul for the information. You can stop by the Eli Lilly booth to get additional information. Start living 
your best life today. Our assignment is to live full. Our assignment is to prosper in the things of health and fitness as we prosper in the things of the spirit. Our assignment is to pursue health and we can conquer through the power of the blood of Jesus, we can conquer this disease that is ravaging our community. Please visit the Eli Lilly booth and give them a thank you for the tools they provide to help us conquer diabetes in our community. Even if you don't need the information or the tools for yourself, you can always take them back and share them with your family, with your church, and with others in your community. I pray, pray you have been blessed. Let's thank God again for Eli Lilly. Well, we're getting ready to go back to church, y'all. Are y'all ready to go back to church tonight? Listen, will you help me to, to welcome all of our worshipers that are worshiping on the Word Network and streaming tonight? Do me a favor. Come on, let's welcome them into the sanctuary. I want you to do me a favor tonight. Look over and, look over and tell your neighbor, we know where the power is. Tell them it's in the name of Jesus. I want you to receive the Supermass Choir. We just dropped our record last week, and you can go to iTunes and download it right now. This is one of the hottest singles off of the record. Will you receive Elder Vernon Bird and the Super Bass Choir? Somebody just call his name, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Somebody who knows there's power in his name saying, here we are. Once again. Say we're crying out. Crying out for more. Lord, we need more. Come on, full gospel. Let's sing it. Here we are. We're standing in your presence once again. See, we're crying out. Crying out. Lord, we need more, more of you, cause we want to go higher, we want to go deeper, we want to go just beyond the veil, so Lord, take us higher, and take us deeper, so we can go just beyond the veil and we know where the power is we know where the power is it's all in the name of Jesus slip up your hands if you know there's power in this name tonight Father we know where the power is we know where the power is it's all in the name of Jesus so we'll take a moment and declare the word of the Lord here. You said if I believe it, I'll draw men. You said if I believe it, you said I'll draw men. You said if I be lifted up, you said I'll draw
Somebody yeah. knows it's true tonight. Yeah. Whoa, say, we know
Tristan Page Jr. is an international evangelist, noted conference speaker, author, and leader. He is the senior pastor of the Highway Church, Patterson, New Jersey. Bishop Page holds several degrees, including a Doctor of Ministry and Master of Sacred Theology at Drew University, a devout community leader. Bishop Page has formed partnerships which have led to a decline in home invasions and automobile break-ins within the community and have drawn many souls to Christ. He is a frequent guest on Trinity Podcasting Network. Word and these are full gospel. Please give a warm welcome to Bishop Liston Page. Let's thank God for the man of God tonight who's going to bring the word. Before he comes tonight, Lord, I ask you to minister to us. Will you just look at your neighbor and tell him there's another move coming? There's another move coming. Let's receive Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Has he done anything for you? Do you believe we still serve a God who does miracles, signs, and wonders? I just need about a thousand people who believes a breakthrough is about to hit your life before July 4th to open up your mouth and give God praise in this room. I need a spirit-filled believer to lift up your worship in this room like we serve a God who does miracles. I don't know about you, but when I know his presence, I have to open up my mouth. I don't know about you, but when I know his presence, I have to lift my hands because he's done wonders in my life. He's done miracles in my life. I know he's still a healer. I know he's still a way maker. Anybody know Jesus in the room? Mountains are still floating. Oh my God, strongholds are still being broken. God, we believe. Yes, we receive. You see, that wonders are still what you do. Woo! And bodies are still being raised. I just need about a thousand believers. Giants are still being slain. God, we believe. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. And we are here for you. Come and do what it's real simple. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. Why? Because we need more. It's 
that what you really want? Say, we need a move. We need a move. Raise it up. Say, we need a move. We need a move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a move. Hey! And bodies are still being. Set our heart on you. Come and do what you do. Cause we need a move. Ah, we need a move. Say we need a move. Ah, oh, I feel it in this room. Say we need a move. Real loud, say we need a move, we need a move. You got to say this is a move. I declare this is the one you've been waiting for. This is a move. You've been praying for a long time, but this is a move. You've been waiting for a long time, this is a move. You've been faithful, you've been consistent.
Father, Bishop Murphy taught me something about declaring the name of Jesus. That when you start declaring his name, he shows up to come see about his children. I don't know who he's been to you, but to me, he's been a rock. To me, he's been a father. To me, he's been a keeper. To me, he's been a covering. To me, he's been a GPS. To me, I don't know what he's been to you, but can we lift up the name of Jesus in this room that drowns out other names? I declare that cancer has to bow when we call on the name of Jesus. I declare that mountains have to come down when we call on the name of Jesus. Anybody got a relationship? What is it to you? He's my comfort. He's my strength. song but I'm just doing what y'all taught me to do I sense that there is something supernatural connected to our worship and I got four minutes to do what it is that I do I just need y'all to come with me I need everybody from the back of this room to the front of this room to lift up your voices and act like you're ready for the move of God we've been praying for years and it's time to see it we've been and it's time to see it. We've been praying for years. And it's time to see it. You've been seeking for years. And it's time to see it. He's not the God who did miracles in the Bible days. He's doing miracles right now. He's doing miracles right now. Lift up your eyes like you believe it. We believe it. presence and I'll be seated at to worship at your feet forever I'll be right here at your feet forever he said and I'll be seated Worship. God will be right here forever. And I'll be seated. 
worship it one more time. And I'll be, and I'll be singing for you to worship. Can we all just remain standing in this place tonight? How many people long for the presence of the Lord? Come on, I said, how many folk long for the presence of the Lord? The Bible says that in your mouth, is the power of life and death. It means that when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you can call things that are not as though they were, and it shall come to pass. I want the folk in here tonight that believe in prophetic decrees. I want you just to find maybe two or three different people and I want you to decree and declare with confidence and conviction that this is going to be the greatest season of my entire life. Listen, you said that, you said that because I asked you to say that. And it may be, it may be possible that when you put a prophetic declaration in the atmosphere, you have to be standing in areas in the sacred space where there are people that know they have undeniable victory. Come on, look down the road, see do they have victory. <laughs> now, if the person who you're standing next to, if they look disinterested, disconnected, trite, lax, frustrated, full of anxiety, you do not speak a prophetic word to them. You find believers that can say no weapon that is formed against me. That I'm the head, not the tail. I'm above, not beneath. I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed coming out. Come on, come on. So before you speak that word again, just look down the row and say with enthusiasm, tell them the work is already done. They didn't hear me. Greg, they didn't hear me. They didn't hear me. See, now, if the person standing on your left and on your right did not respond with Pentecostal excitement, that's the wrong person to stand by tonight. Come on, find somebody else. Tell them the work is already done.
if they ask you what's already done, tell them this shall be the greatest supernatural season of my entire life. What God has for me, it is for me. You believe that? You believe that? Then come on, get out your seat and go tell three or four different people. Tell them this is going to be the greatest season of my life. The devil should have killed me when he had a chance. I said the devil should have destroyed me when he had a chance. But this shall be the greatest season of my everything in my house shall be delivered. Man, I wish I had somebody I believe that. If you believe that, if you believe that, if you believe that, just grab somebody by the hand and shake their hand good and say, neighbor, everything connected to you just got delivered. Everything, everything connected to you. Y'all act like y'all don't believe that. Come on, find somebody else that believe it with you. Shake that hand good. Say, everything in my house, everything in my family, everything connected to me just got delivered. My time is out. Lift your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, half man. The Bible says. They that worship can only worship in spirit and in truth. You can have an improper deportment, demeanor, attitude, disposition, and praise God. But you can have a nasty attitude and worship because of they that worship as your hands are extended I want you just to consider this for a moment and then I'm going to be real short the Bible says that when we know not what to pray for as we are the spirit makes intercession with moanings and groanings that cannot be uttered. Now, on the day of Pentecost, they spoke in something called xenoglossia language. It was not glossolalia, it was xenoglossia because it was a language that they had not been taught how to speak or how to read or write. But when they saw these unlearned Galileans speaking in the language of those that were part of the diaspora, that let them know that this was something supernatural and miraculous. But that was on the day of Pentecost. You and I, when we are filled with the Holy Ghost, we speak in an unknown tongue, glossolalic language. That's a language that no man knows what you say except God. It is your divine articulation. So when you get in tight spots, I said when you get in tight spots, the spirit makes intercession with moanings and groanings that cannot be uttered. Now, I, I'm, I'm not here to create a theological debate 
about pneumatology, glossolalia, and I do believe that speaking in an unknown tongue as the Spirit of God gives you the utterance to speak is the initial sign or evidence that the Holy Spirit has come into your human spirit. But tongues is not the Holy Ghost. Because some of the meanest people I know speak in tongues. The Bible does not say a tree is known by how excited it gets. A tree is not known by the tongues it speaks in. It says a tree is known by the fruit. Come on now. So you can speak in tongues until liquid gold comes out your mouth. But if you ain't got no love, you're a sounding brass and a tickling cymbal. So the folk here tonight that really have the Holy Spirit, I want you to lift your hands to the Lord. I want you to throw your head back. Hallelujah. I want you to begin just for about 35 seconds. Let your soul make her boast in the Lord. Open up your spirit. I don't want to hear your native language. I want to hear your divine articulation. Come on out of your Come on, come on. Out of your spirit, out of your inner man. Come on. Louder than that. Come on, worship. Come on. Come on, worship it. That's it, that's it. Another 15 seconds, you'll feel better. Come on. Come on, come Hallelujah. That's right, that's right. Now come on, throw your head. Back. Go ahead, back. Give God the loudest Shabbat hallelujah that you can. Come on, one more time for the king. Come on, one more time for the king. Come on, throw your head back. Come on, one more time for miracles. That's it. Come on, throw your head back. One more time for healing and deliverance. Come on, shout hallelujah. Now clap your hands and shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Clap your hands, all ye people. Come on, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. The Lord bless your hearts. Take your seats in the Lord's presence real quickly if you can. It is always such a good thing to give thanks and praise unto our God because he is most deserving of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. The workmanship of his hands is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We all can say that I would have fainted, I would have collapsed, I would have given up lest I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. But it is by this that I God is well pleased with me. He has not allowed my enemies to triumph over me. But a thousand shall fall at thy side. Ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. For blessed is the man 
that walk if not in the counsel of the ungodly that stands in the way of sinners that sit in the seat of the scornful but his delight shall be in the law of the Lord and in his law he shall meditate both day and night he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that shall bring fruit in the season and whatsoever he doeth it shall prosper because him he foreknew he did also predestinate and who he predestinated he called and who he called he justified who he justified he glorified what shall we say to these things y'all act like y'all don't know the bible in here what shall we say to these things if God be for us who can be against us for when he could take an oath out on no greater he swore by himself saying blessings I will bless you multiply I'll multiply you then he said I will curse them that curse you I'll bless them that bless you every place the soles of your feet touch he said I'll give it unto you do I got anybody in this church that know the favor of God is all over your life come on smile at somebody and tell them favor is all over your life you can't fail if you tried to fail because favor is all over your life for who the son have set free indeed is free indeed so eyes have not seen <laughs> ears have not heard it has not been birth in the hearts of a man the good things that God has in store for them that love him but the next verse says but it has been revealed to those of us that are filled with his spirit so the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night but let God arise and let all of our enemies be scattered so let Mount Zion rejoice and let all the daughters of Judah be made glad do I got anybody in this church that know that you know that you know that you know that you got the victory and the devil is defeated Listen, it is always with tremendous deference and respect that we celebrate and pay homage to one of God's chosen servants. We celebrate, we are honored, we are honored, we are privileged to stand in this place tonight and we certainly honor Reverend Dr. Keller, the Honorable Bishop Joseph Walker. Come on, you ought to do better than that for the presiding bishop. Come on, you can do better than that. And can you celebrate his very lovely wife, First Lady Stephanie Walker? Come on, you can celebrate them. To our second presiding prelate, the Honorable Bishop Darrell Brister, my good friend, my brother, his lovely wife. Come on, First Lady. To the third presiding bishop, the Honorable Bishop Larry Brandon and his lovely wife. Come on, y'all can celebrate them. And to my good friend, the Honorable Bishop Lester Love and his lovely wife tonight. Lord have mercy. I bet not start calling names, but Lord, it's good to see Oscar Brown and Greg Davis and Simon Gordon. Lord Jesus, I, I bet start calling names and all of you but I, I i i am extremely extremely delighted tonight because anytime you have a founder that serves as an establishmentarian a prophet an evangelist a pastor teacher a legitimate authentic anointed visionary and we can sit under his purview and under his direction that is something for all of us to give God praise for. Do you love the founder 
the patriarch, the honorable Bishop Paul Sylvester Morton. Come on, you can do much better than that. And God has richly blessed him. And he has this lovely, vivacious, effervescent, godly, prayerful, anointed woman of God. Come on, overseer Deborah Morton. Come on, you can do better than that. And to all of you who have been called out of darkness and transplanted over into the kingdom of light, recipients of his imputed righteousness, and because we know that his sacrifice is efficacious, that he is the propitiable of our sins, we have a right to the tree of life. So it is good for us to be here. Can you say amen? In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. At his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is anybody glad to be free in this house tonight? Uh, I, was, I was really contemplating on what I would share tonight. And I, if, if you don't mind, I, I want to kind of deal with the theme of live full. Uh, but I want to, I want to attack the text from maybe a different perspective. Exodus 23, and there's some high Christology and some low Christology, even in the Old Testament, in terms of a Christophany or a theophany. Uh, but that's, I ain't gonna be long. I ain't gonna be long. I ain't gonna be long. Um, but let's start at verse number 20. And if you have a good study Bible, you will find that there are something called superscriptions, which are nothing more than headings, and they give direction and insight. It's not an excursus, it's not an exposition, it gives you a guide. It, it serves as a navigating system to understand how to properly dissect these things. Now, what makes, what makes Israel difficult is that the theme that they selected, it, it's, it's difficult because it really starts in chapter 19 and goes to chapter 34. Because it is a 40-day expedition that Moses has on Mount Horeb. Mount Sinai, the mountain of God, and if I was in a Jewish context, I couldn't say the mountain of God because they don't like the name of God there. They take out the vowels, leave the consonants, and they have something called a tetragrammaton, which are just the four letters of that. So, unfortunately, uh, because we're not in that type of setting, they would understand that Anytime there were watershed moments, they would rename geographical places by the experience that they went through at that time. So when Moses is first called to Mount Sinai, Mount Horeb, a Midian desert, after leaving the culture of Egypt, it is there where he sees this burning bush that is on fire that is not consumed, and that becomes the mountain of God, where the Shekinah or a theophany in the form of a burning bush, not consumed, speaks and gives Moses these directives. In chapter 19 of Exodus, this is Moses's second time at this mountain. Now, what's interesting is he leads, he leads a crowd out of 
of 430 years of bondage to conform them into being a nation in the wilderness. Crowds are not churches. A crowd of people does not mean you have a healthy organism. You can tell when you have a healthy church because they submit to rules and regulations. <laughs> Unfortunately, we live in the 21st century contemporary church where nobody wants to subjugate themselves to any voice of authority. So that is why there is a major decline in Protestant Christianity because millennials today are tired of what we would call lukewarm, perpetrating, irrelevant church presentation. All right, y'all don't like me tonight. I'll, I'll try it another way. There are three reasons why it's difficult to get people to have a real interest in church. They are tired of church hypocrisy. Most of you all don't even like each other. Now you ain't going to say that. I'm sorry. Please, forgive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You will sit here all night, high five, electric slide, shout around the building, and then when service is over, you won't even greet each other. They don't like hypocrisy. It, it, I, I, I don't mean to go here, and I don't mean to go here, but they have grown weary of moral failings. Now, I knew when I said that, I was going to get that Laodicean response. <laughs> I already knew, I already knew when I talked, talking about moral failing and floating ethics that nobody was going to say amen because in church today there is no longer standard everything we do is attached to compromise nobody has a standard and we don't preach doctrine we teach personal preference lord i'm gonna get in trouble in here tonight uh so so they're, 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 they're tired. They're tired of hypocrisy. They're tired of moral failing, and they are tired of irrelevant.